Hi guys, it's me, Happy Cat, and welcome to part two of my playthrough of Little Hope. Now, the first episode was crazy. So much stuff happened. I'm still very confused. Uh, the whole, f I don't even know, the whole family died, and then it turned out the whole family is alive, but they were on the bus, but they weren't actually a family. They were students and teachers, but then one of the kids had a dream that he was part of a family that got killed. And now they had a bus crash, and now they're heading towards Little Hope. And now they realise the fog won't let them go back, because if they try to go back, then it just loops them back round. Basically, so much stuff's going on, and I have no idea. So let's, let's see if this episode will be any more clearer, and it give us any more clues about what to expect. So, we just found this little bar, I guess it's a bar with this guy who seems very, um, you know, depressed. He did say the phone wasn't going to work, so I'm assuming the phone isn't going to work. Fuck! Yeah, well, the guy did tell you, the guy did tell you it wasn't going to work. Anything else worth seeing? Okay. Oh, God, the camera angles are a little bit... Oh, I can't walk. Oh, I want to walk to the back there, but it won't let me. Okay. Can I speak to these people? Nope. Oh, there's something to look at over here. What's this? What is this? Lots of numbers. Is that, um, dart scores? Not sure. What is this? I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Ah, it's the people. 1917 those people are from. Wait. So if that's 1917, the other people that we just saw was from later than that because they had like they had like cars from like is it the 60s or something and they had the tv they wouldn't have had the tv in 1917. so there's been th at least three lots of people in history that look the same that's still weird i'm still confused i'm learning more but i'm still confused hey this way let's get out of here and you all hear that yeah. I definitely heard something. It was like a church bell Did or something. You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Is this like some silent Best of hill? luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Is this going to be like some silent hill situation going on right now? <sighs> Sorry about that, my cat was trying to eat the leftover Boxing Day food. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. This whole place is I weird. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? Knowing my cat, she's gonna want to come back in in like five, ten minutes, so... Hopefully she won't try to knock on the door at a crucial moment of the game. Now, what do we have here? So hard to see. Another note. The witch's cauldron. Oh, it's a picture. That didn't really make much sense to me, but okay. Yes, so, um... So that picture that they found was from 1917 and the people that died were obviously from a later time than that. Does that mean like these, this family or like these people keep regenerating over time? It's the only thing I can think of. Oh, we get to go into a museum. That's going to be so cool. So the church, wait, where are I think we? we're going the right way. Oh. We're going to go to the memorial first. Then the massacre memorial, then the execution site, 
historical ruin, church, was it? Something Johnson home. Oh, Tilly Johnson home and a museum. I want to go to the museum. I bet it's going to be really cool. Probably scary as hell, but cool. Obviously, the church will probably be the last thing. I'm guessing the church will probably be the finale, if I'm guessing. Oh, that's exciting now. I want to go to the museum. Even though I'll probably regret that decision so much, but you know, that sounds pretty cool. Alright, anything else to look at here? No, where's everyone gone anyway? Did I. Oh, that's one person. I don't want to lose everyone. The last thing I want to do is get lost in this place. Uh, I don't get what the point in that was, but okay. I mean, the guy's still there. Does that mean he's going to disappear in a minute? Where is everyone? I don't want to. I don't want to stray too far away from everyone. Are we just going by ourselves? Has everyone gone on without us? I'm assuming this is where I'm going. I don't want to split away I have from a the bad group. Feeling about this. Uh huh. So do I. Let's figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. It's not a good idea to split up. Wait, does this mean we're going to the museum by ourselves? That's even more Can you scary. You make an effort to keep up. Oh. <laughs> they were ahead of us. We were trading behind. Okay. What's that orange light? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I wish you stopped doing that. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. Uh, I definitely saw someone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. We are. Let's go find the others, though. Let's not argue about this. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. Yeah, we should you be too. splitting. We Let's need stick to stick together. Close. Mm -hmm. What is that? What the hell? It is some Silent Hill kind of Did thing. You hear that? We're getting, some, we're getting some like Silent Hill kind of evil okay, here. Okay, very good. We're freaked. <sighs> Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? This is gonna be bad. Come on, John, where are you? This, this is gonna isn't be funny. Bad. Okay, let's just move on. Let's just, let's just carry on. Let's find the others. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. But maybe let's walk faster. Yeah, come on, let's walk faster. Hey, wait for us! What is that? Ah. Uh, do I really want hey. to examine this? Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Maybe don't get too close. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. This is... Oh, I should have pressed back. Okay. It's a poppet. <laughs> oh my god. What is your name, sir? Almost have a heart attack. Um, let's be polite. Let's say hi. Let's, let's, let's say hello, creepy girl. Um, I'm Andrew. Andrew. Mm -hmm. Nice to and meet you. Andrew. And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? I'm a bit busy, little girl. Come play. Come 
play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say, you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. What's going on? Amen. Come back here. Amen. She's got a bit of a weird accent, but okay. There you are. There's someone else out here. By the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. They're seeing things. I saw them too. Are you okay? Uh, this place is all wrong. This place is all wrong. Uh huh. Very Whatever wrong. happened here, it's over now. No, you have no clue. You didn't no, see what we saw. <laughs> I don't get just it. Begun what me. exactly happened? It's only just begun. Um, a little. Let's try to explain it. This Let's young girl explain. came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but she talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? She might be malicious. She could have been malicious, I guess. Oh, that's a bad decision. Is that a good decision? Bad decision? You're burning I mean, up. I mean, she didn't really want to play with I us. She'll do what, something to you. She just wanted to we play should with all us. keep an eye on Andrew. I'm okay. Pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. And let's all stick together. That little girl definitely talked like... Um, the way she formed sentences was very true to like... The what about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Nah. Let me reassure you. He's not You've confused. You've helped make some decisions that will be valued later on. Nah, nah, nah. He's not confused because the, the lady next to so me, he, far, so good. she also saw the little You're girl and everything. Well, that fellow in the bar. Yeah, who was he was that less guy? than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly, something disturbing on his mind. Yeah, he looked he looked miserable Enough. and depressed. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. Uh, See if you can lift the fog. Maybe Find we have to save the bus them. driver. Maybe we have to go and like save all the souls. Maybe it's not as cut through or as like having bad evil spirits maybe you actually have to go and save them right is this gonna be the museum or Girl, the she monastery so strange i could barely understand her she sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here you could barely understand well, i'm her. tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place she was You're speaking right. perfect english to me it's quite traditional english you know like yeah, I get it. It's, she is speaking like she's like from the Victorian era, but it's not hard to understand. Like, <laughs> let's have a little looky. Oh my god, my cat! Oh gosh, you made me jump to in that. Hang on, I gotta let her in a second. Are you in now, Shelley? Right, come on. Come on. Shannon. What's this?
Okay, she's in, but she is running around like crazy. So if you can hear her running around destroying things in my room, I apologize. It's just my cat being an absolute idiot, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Oh, this is another... That doesn't mean anything to... Human sacrifice? What? I don't want to sacrifice anyone. I want everyone to live. Okay. That was weird. This has got to be the monastery, right? Or is this you just... Hear that? What was that? I don't know. It's, it's got to be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. Yes, yeah, it's just something growling. Right. Something growling is nothing to worry about. Yeah, okay. Whatever. If you say so, woman. That sounds bigger than something small. You see that? Oh. Fuck. Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. Cheap shot, guys. Cheap shot. Still got me. Why are we going up here? Why aren't we sticking to the main road? We're not going to get a better view up here. Ghost towns of the northeast. Little hope. Oh god, this is a long thing. The abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in the forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for town to become ghosts fairly fairy, but inevitably comes back to the e economics. The town may have boomed for logging, mining and industry, then the jobs go and the people go with them. The aptly named Little Hope is such a town, a one factory community built around textiles that disappeared at uh, that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed and mass exodus ensued. Uh, soon the schools and even the church closed, leaving the desolate ruin. Okay. So it's an old town then, and they didn't keep up with the modern era? How I'm are you guessing? coping? Because the know. factories and the cities took over. What do you think happened to us back there? Uh, Bill Warded? I, I would say we're in danger. Absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. They might not be bad people. What is out there? We'll find a way out. We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. The facial animations in th these series are so good. They look just like the actors and like the mouth, the mouth movements. What the hell? It's Smeagol. I don't have a ring, I promise. Uh, oh, I don't have a ring. I, I don't have I don't have anything precious. I promise. Leave me. Oh my god. Um, this I'm not going to Mordor. I promise. Okay, let's just calmly carry on. The Windigo was pretty scary enough in Until Dawn. What are you looking at? Little Hope Historical Society presents the Witch of... Is that what? How do you pronounce that? Ed... Uh, Edmonton? A play by W.M. Rowley Thos, Decker and John Ford. Performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School. I wonder if that's a real play. I've never heard Does of it. Does have something to do with what we saw? Uh, could be. I guess it could didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. 
it could just be something as innocent as like um i don't know what, what do they call them in america what do they call those people who live in like they choose to live away from civilization and they live uh what how oh my god what are those people called i can't remember what they're called they don't they choose to not live with technology and uh live very simple lives and they grow everything themselves maybe, maybe they're just like those <laughs> well, that's probably wishful thinking i'm just trying to calm myself okay if i was if this was me that's what i'd be thinking maybe this is just a town you know of um oh my god what are they called i can't think it's gonna bug me now it will come the, the word will come to me in a minute but yeah, maybe that's just the case. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. This is a long road, by the way. Uh... Oh, he's on a mission. He's got proper power walk going. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Is this a bridge? There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Move what? I can't see. What is it? Amen to that. I can't even see what it is. All I can see is a bridge of some kind. Look at that! Hey! Wait! Stop! What is it? 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 This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What is it? What the hell do we do now? Oh, this is going to be a bad decision. I might kill someone off by doing this. Stay calm. Be nice. I'll deal with this. Don't we do it? Stay right here. Ah. Uh, not a good idea. By the way, I remember the name. Amish, right? That's right. Oh, God. Hold up. I'll come with you. That, this might be a bad decision. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Amish people, right? That's what they have in America with the people who choose to, to live like old days. Maybe they're just Amish people. Maybe something hey, to worry about. you too! <gasps> this is not good. Oh my god. Oh, please. Oh, we're together. I'm hoping this is better. I might have a chance to save him. If I just send him on his own, he might have died. Hey! Anyone there? You should have. Hello? Anyone? <laughs> Get off me! Run! See, I saved him. I saved him. Why is it you want from me? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! Wait. I don't wanna... Just to say nothing. My god. That's his wife, right? Please, Wait. God, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. What the hell? Let's get, I get into it. town. I just had an idea. It's not so far now. And it's our best shot at getting help. I got an idea. It might okay? be a theory. Oh, God. I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. 
Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. Thank you, John. No, John. And has... I'm going this way without you. Maybe no, no, splitting no, no, up no, no, isn't no, such no, a good no, idea, too. No, 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 no way no, no. am I going down there. We're not splitting up. <sighs> I'm a John. Yeah, I'm with I'm with Andrew. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Not out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? I guess someone should go with her. Really? I'd be okay on my own, but... Sure. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out. Which is what we all want, right? So we are splitting up. I guess up. you're right. If the fog lets you through, and you find help, send them into town to find us. I have a theory. What if the two timelines are running together, and they don't even realize... Got a feeling realize... we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Maybe there's two timelines two time running, and we're seeing them as, like, ghostly apparitions, but they're also seeing us as ghostly apparitions. Maybe that's, that's what's happening, because the little girl can see. But the older woman, the first time, didn't really notice us. But the second one did. But she, because she was sort of like, why are you here? Like, so she was just as confused Hold as up. we were. So maybe we're both coexisting together in the same space. <laughs> what the hell? Shit. Oh, shit. Wrong man. What did he- what just happened? Oh, this is the human sacrifice part. What the hell? John just left us all. John just saved his own butt and left us. Are we okay here? Hey, John, you just left us. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. At least that kind of shows that John Let's move out. will just leave us and... I don't even know what just happened there. What just happened? You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. Oh. I'm not doing anything with this. Oh, it's that thing again. What is it? Oh my god, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? What's up? We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to get out of here. We need to go. We should uh we should keep up with John. We should keep up. Yes, go. John won't like it if we lose each other. Uh-huh, that's good. John? That's good, that's good. He means well, but he's in over his head. Uh, why do you say that? We don't why have time do you to say talk. that about him? Come on. John isn't even a has-been. He's a never-been. A would-be literary great stuck counting the days till he can retire from teaching. We don't have time His for this woman. His students always say the same thing. He's rude. He's not interested. He's pretentious. Why are he you talking about this like now? everyone like dirt, all because his dreams never materialized. We do not have time for this. Um... Reflective, maybe you should take the deep. Uh, I don't know, let's just, just, just see. Maybe you should be the one deciding where we go. One of the many lessons my hellish marriage taught me was never take responsibility for anyone else. Never works, and they end up blaming you. Yeah, we really need to go and... Uh... <sighs> was your marriage really that bad? It was. I don't really care, we need to You'll find someone, no? Yeah, nope. let's go. I have learned to be a loner. Suits me better. We should catch up with John. Yeah, being loners doesn't mean we should be away from each other. We should be close to each other. <laughs> Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. 
How would you handle all this in my position? Stay positive. I guess I'd try to stay positive. Mm -hmm. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around well, us Well, you're in it now, mate, so you ain't got a choice, have you? What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? Can't be sure. We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. I agree. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. Yeah, see, John's, John's the voice of reason. I agree with him. What is that? I don't like the sound of noise. That. No, I don't like the sound of that either. I want to go. <laughs> Get me the hell out of this place. Oh, I'm already scared. What is it? Don't go near it. What are you doing? What the fuck? Wait! John? Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, just concentrate. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm just gonna look at the blue blinds. I'm not even looking at what's happening. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, it's a cat. Is it really a cat? You're gonna turn around and it's there? What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. <sighs> my battery was about to die on my what controller exactly then too. I was to? worried. I was worried I was gonna fail. Taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Are you really worried about breaking and entering Anyhow, right now, woman? Are you serious? There's no one here. <sighs> oh. I don't even want to look around. Should I look around? This is smart to look around. Oh, hello. Modern magic and ritual. Modern magic and ritual is a definite guide to the subject of magic for the new age. Written for practitioners to own their knowledge on art, this book examines in detail all the aspects of modern magic and it offers, and it offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. Oh god, we're opening it. Okay. Oh, this is a long page. Okay. Um, new Age Curses. Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums. The casting love spells on another person. Some paths forbid it entirely where others have been admitted, if only in self-defense. However, there are a number of questions that the practitioners should be ask, uh, should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desired result? You may experience disappointment and depression and the result is not what you expected. If you are performing this magic for a personal gain, emotions will evite, uh, is that a virus? A virus? <laughs> I don't know. Or envy might interfere with the magic. It's said that if you don't let go of a grenade, you will eventually blow yourself up. The same could be said with working harmful magic. Even if you don't believe in the rule of three, it is always best to cleave to Rudolf uh, Steiner's golden rule. For every one step you take in the pursuit of higher knowledge, take three steps in perfection of your own character. The lock of hair. The hair of a living person can be used in many forms of magic, from love spells to curses with mixed with sulfur and buried. It can inflict harm on the subject. Oops. I know there's a lot to read in these, uh, but in the supermassive games. But trust me, it's worth it because um, usually you find in the supermassive games um, you need to read a lot to get an idea 
of like the history and uh, you, you know like in until a door when you learn about the wendigos you only really learn it properly um by reading all the texts and the letters and stuff so yeah you wouldn't have a clue what's going on unless you actually read all the stuff oh yeah we'll take the gun not necessarily mean we have to use it but i'm taking it i'm taking it four bullets okay we have to remember that guys four bullets definitely taking it that was a good idea you all done with poking around yep oh do we uh, let's catch up with don we should John. catch up with the professor he we didn't stop to her. give any lectures here did he I'm, don't, I'm not going to tell Angela that we found a gun because I got a feeling she'll use it against us or she'll try to force us to use it knowing that we have it. I'm not going to tell her. Better to keep it to ourselves, I think. I'm trying to get a good kind of sense. What place is this? I'm trying to get a good sense of their personalities. I'm not risking Angela knowing that I've got a gun. But then again, her knowing it might actually save someone later on. Don't know. But then I could see there's going to be a situation, I reckon, where we're going to turn on each other or something. And yeah, it's best not for her to know that I've got a gun, I think. I think that's the safest way to do it. Professor? Oh, where's he gone now? Where's the professor gone? <gasps> there you are. That was crazy back there. I'm gonna keep supporting him. Sorry, I took off like that. I feel like he needs. I'm it. more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. But he does have a habit what of leaving us. What the hell was us. that in there? He has a habit of ditching us and leaving us. Okay. Um. Let's just keep reassuring this guy. It was nothing. He's very. Don't worry about it. He's very. Skitty. Don't worry about it. We got to keep him on what a level head. In second grade. He's right. Get over yourself and move on. <laughs> is this the museum or the? Uh... This place is our best shot. Oh, please, department. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver too. Are we gonna get like a Resident Evil two? Look vibe around for from something we now. can break the glass with. We're gonna see some zombies in there. <laughs> We gotta get like proper Resident Evil Raccoon City vibes. <gasps> oh, okay, here we go. It's gonna be a, a future thing. He's in a police car. Premonition unlocked. What the hell? So maybe he get whoever that is gets arrested. That can't be. That doesn't look like. Our, uh, that doesn't look like John. Oh God. Okay. Oh, here's the stone to smash the window with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. Uh, no problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not I feeling jump. pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Okay. Oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? What, you don't cut yourself? On your way Looks in? safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. This is going to be a catch straight You're too, isn't it? You do just say piece of cake, something bad's gonna happen when you say that. Come on. Everyone knows that. Okay, are we gonna go back to... I hope we don't switch to the other... Oh, I wanted to see what happened in that place. I want to go back to the police station. Ah. Oh. 
Little Hope Middle School. Are we going to the school? That's terrifying. I think going to the school is probably one of the scariest places to be. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Yeah. Me neither. Do we have to go into the school? Oh no, there's a school bus over here. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. Oh, shut up. It is something, wait. There is a site, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's, let's keep together. Let's not, the, the, I bet this will be locked anyway. Close the school down. Get about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. It's gonna be funny how this spikes oh, on the top of that like fence. There's no way through. And that's how he died in the. I made a bad call here. In the house. It was a bad idea. I can agree, you know. We should have stayed with the others. This was a bad idea. No way was I going into that nightmare town. We'll find another way. There we go. Now we're going to go down here. I had to be honest with her. You know, she was being a bit of an idiot. I had to be honest to say she wasn't. It wasn't a good idea. Oh God! Follow the little girl. Why has that come up? What little girl? I haven't seen the little girl. Little Hope Bridge. Well, that doesn't seem like fun. Okay, fine. We'll follow the bridge. This is such a bad idea. This is the worst idea you have ever done. Oh, God. And now we're in some creepy children's play area. Well, that's just brilliant. Why is it always nighttime in these games as well? You never do these games during the day. It's always Not your nighttime. Hour, but I've seen worse from you. Remind me to laugh, will you? She's so rude, isn't she? I don't understand why she has to be so rude all the time. <sighs> Over there! Just think, she might not be bad. She might not be bad. She might be okay. We might have to save her. Hey! Are you okay? She might not be a bad person. Just be concerned. Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. Is this the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. <laughs> Get me out of here! We got you! <sighs> Tell me that didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be cold. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> See, it's a time loop. It's like. Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. We exist in two times Please. at once. No, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! What is this? I need to get out of here right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I knew it. To you. That is I knew it. To say. We're on two, time, we're on two timelines together. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. 
you come with me, girl? I knew it! We're actually on the same time- like, there's two timelines coming together. Can someone together. tell me what just happened? It's gotta be. Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. That's my theory anyway. I was, I was a complete guess. But it does seem to be more like that now. She can she can communicate to us in this timeline, but she's in a different timeline. Oh, I'm really intrigued now. I still want to know what the weird monster things are. Oh, the witch trials. Oh god. Okay. I'm glad you're here. You're glad I'm here? Doesn't seem like that to me. Oh, okay. It's making a little bit more sense now, I guess. But that's if that is what's happening. I'm assuming that's what's happening. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. Oh, be careful. Nice and gently does it. <sighs> Expecting more QTEs to be fair, so kind of grateful there isn't more. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere though. Mm. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the episode there for today. So thank you all for watching. I am loving this so far. This is so much better than Man of Medan. I know I said that last time, but yeah, already so much better. I really hope the story pays off. It's keeping me invested and keeping me really intrigued. So yeah, I'm super excited. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the next video. And turn on the bell notification so you can be informed when the next video is up. Also, I am playing through Resi 7 and I have other games on my channel as on there as well, so please feel free to have a little browse. But yeah, until next time, stay safe, take care, and until next time, bye!